Hello friends, Mark Johnson here. Welcome back to another episode of the Tririga War Room where experts advise. In our last episode we created the base form and so now we need a way to create a record for that form so that we can you know do a proper unit test because we need to go ahead and, and you know state transition through all the state transitions we want to make sure that the transitions that we expect to be visible are visible as well as the state transitions that we expect to be hidden to be hidden so <clears throat> the manager query term goes back to the you know the 2x platform and earlier so there used to be things in Tririga called managers but those went away with the, the 3.0 platform um, the actual uh, you know kind of equivalent nowadays would would be the master detail query um, however the term manager query has become you know kind of a default people still create them still call them manager queries and usually it's a query which is used for um, managing and creating records and, and it's a query that's not generally attached to anything in other words it's not a query that would be in a query section right or um, in navigation right so if you get into the actual naming convention for queries right it'll tell you how a query is used and so uh, you know a display query would be a query that's used in a query section um, you know navigation would be indicated for queries that are used within the navigations portals portal sections nav items nav collections that kind of thing so let's go ahead and get logged in to our environment so again this is an 11.1 environment so i'm not doing this in the latest and greatest environment but uh, everything still pertains so for the manager query we want to go to our tools menu and we're going to select the report manager and then we want to go to our system reports and we're going to go ahead and click new for a new report and so we do want to have some uh, proper naming convention so when it comes to queries as well as workflows right there's three different levels in which you can create uh, a query. You can create something at the module level, you can create something at the BO level, or you can create something um, at the form level. So depending on how you configure the, the query, that'll determine which field or fields are available for, for selection. Right? So for instance, if you set this up to be a form query, then only those fields which are selected uh, and displayed on the form are going to be available to be selected in the query. So even though the the field is on the business object, you will will not be able to select that. So we're going to follow our naming convention. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a a bo level query. Now the name is going to kind of match uh, the module since this is the base bo and base bo's are named after the module. So you can have a little trouble telling, you know, if a query is at the model level um, or the the BO level, but because base BOs aren't generally records that are, you know, aren't usually records created for those, right? Your base BOs or your base objects are usually utilized as templates for creating the other objects within your environment. So the fact that you see something that has the base BO name and you're like, oh, I don't know if it's module level or if it's base BO it's most likely module level because again the, the base bo it just isn't something that's uh, you know typically used so in this case right our object or our module is called cst sports and then we'll call this uh, manager query and then for the id we'll put in custom and title we'll call it sports I like to give uh, a, a tag and use a tag and usually I, I give it a, <clears throat> the tag of the same way that it's being utilized so if it was a display query I'd put display here if it's a workflow query I'd put workflow that kind of thing now in this particular video we're not going to go into all the the different uh, combinations and, and details uh, of the query uh, that'll come later in a query builder um, video so we want to change our type there are several types but we're going to, this is going to be a query 
and we'll set this to all projects and we do not need to track the history or make this a community report so now we need to set up you know our object what object is this going against so we're going to go select our module which is our CST sports module and our business object is CST sports and I'm just going to leave it at, at form because I'm selecting um, all all the uh, the fields or I want all the fields available and not just those fields that I've that I've put on the form so you know what you select for the form does matter and will have an impact on what's available for selection here under the the columns right so in this case I want to go ahead and just select a few columns that I want to be able to see so we'll go with uh, we'll do Let's see, it looks like the ID and the name. And I don't really need anything else at, at this point in time. I can add other fields and stuff here, but the whole purpose or, or what we're really trying to accomplish just at this point in time is to be able to add a record. And then once we, we've added a record, then we'll be you know in the form. And then we can cycle that record through its life cycle so that way we, we test all the state family we want to you know verify that our our status and our previous status values get set we want to make sure that the uh, <clears throat> state transitions that are supposed to be visible are visible the ones that are supposed to be hidden are hidden right so if I see in the form that it's you know you know activate hidden uh, transition well the the word hidden in the name tells me that you know hey this wasn't supposed to be visible so I want to go ahead and, and get all this stuff fixed, right, before we start creating other objects in this module because since the base business object is used as a template, right, whatever mistakes that we have, if we create a new business object, that's going to get copied and propagated. And so then we're going to have multiple places that we have to go and fix these objects rather than just a single. So we'll come under order and group. And we'll go ahead and we'll we'll order by the name, and we'll order it in ascending order. And because this, you know, a manager query is a query that's made for consumption by a person, right? Not the the computer. So the order in which things appear in is is important, right? We want it to be, um, you know, order just because that's what we're used to, right? We're used to things being in an alphabetic order, it makes it easier to find things. You're not having to scroll around hunt and find where you know where it is uh, on the screen filters I'll go ahead and I'll set uh, some user filters so our user filters are just runtime filters and then uh, the <coughs> the system filters are here right those are our hard-coded filters so these will take place and filter out any results the runtime filters may or may not have values there, but in order for those columns to show up uh, to where you have the ability to input and put in a filter, uh, we have to go ahead and put this information in. So we'll select name, and it doesn't matter what order you select them in, as long as you have a filter column that matches your, your display columns, then you're good. So advanced, we're not going to set any um, association filters, but we do want to do an action. We want to have the ability to add and delete records, right? So we're going to go ahead and we'll do a system add, and also put a CST add with the label of add, and then I'm going to add a system delete, and CST delete. They will delete. So one thing to know about the delete, the system delete, right? <clears throat> it will delete the records that you select, regardless of what state they're in, right? So it's it's not deleting the records by triggering a delete transition, right? Because then you'd have to have a transition that went from whatever state the record is in to the null state in order to delete it. So with a system delete, it doesn't matter. It just deletes the record. Now, one thing you have to be aware of <clears throat> for these is that in a lot of modules, they have a, an asynchronous workflow that listens for the delete action and will actually then retire the records 
instead of deleting them. So you can end up with, you run your manager query, you see the records, you hit the delete, they disappear momentarily um, because the asynchronous workflow runs in the background, right? And then you come back a few minutes later and you're like, whoa, they're back, what happened? You know, they shouldn't be here. Well, that's because there's that module level workflow that's listening for that delete event. And so you have to go and, and retire. And I've actually seen cases where you've got a BO level workflow as well as the module level workflow. So that's something to be uh, aware of um, if you're seeing you know, weird, weird behavior like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save the query. And then I'm going to run the report. I don't need to add anything else, right? Because the where used is just going to tell us where this particular query is used. And it's not used anywhere, right? It's not attached or hooked up to anything. This is a query that we're going to run from the, the query builder tool, right? And then history, uh, there isn't history uh, revisions. I see that I've, I've got, a, I'm on revision two because I've saved. So let's go ahead we'll run our report. All right, so we, we've got our, our two columns. Um, the user filters are not there at the moment because there's no records, right? So the system knows not to show user filters if there's nothing to filter. So, But we do see that we have our add and our delete actions that we added are here, right? So these are very common actions to have for a manager query. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add. And now I've got a record and I can see right away that I've got an issue or something that I need to correct, right? There's a, there's a mistake. The attention section is visible. The attention section should not be visible right from the beginning. All right, well, we're not gonna go in and, and fix this uh, just to, at the moment. The, the purpose of this video was more to uh, demonstrate and show how to create a manager query. So we've, we've done that, right? You can see that the add action works we can see that the, the record, we've got a form for, for the record, so we can create the record. Um, the record came up, it's in the null state, we have the ability to create draft. We can see an issue on it already, so in the next video, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll um, <clears throat> go and, and correct that mistake. And we'll fix that attention section, because I imagine it's also on the system tab, since we copied the attention section yet from the general. So, you know, We'll, we'll clean that up, make it not visible, um, and we'll go through and we'll test all of our state transitions and make sure that the, those are all good. But uh, we don't want all that to be in the same video and make the video a little bit too long since we're already, you know, 10 to 15 minutes in with just uh, the, the manager query. So with that, we'll go ahead and we'll stop. All right, friends, that wraps up another episode of the Trirega War Room. Thank you for watching this episode. If you like these videos and you find them helpful, you know, please do like and subscribe to the channel. You know, your subscriptions are the only way that I have to know if you find these uh, videos helpful and if I should continue to, to make them or not. I do these videos on my own time. I'm not currently compensated in any way for them. So if they're not helpful, I'd much rather go and, and, and work on some of my other side projects. So you know, here at the Trirega War Room, we really do want to be your expert advisors and help you to better implement and use Trirega. So uh, if you have any ideas for future videos or even if you would like to you know, guest instruct a future video, please do let me know. Again, thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you next time.